familiar with autonomia is a rare disease that affects uh, what's called the autonomic nervous system, and that has to do with uh, involuntary um, functions, um, particularly control of blood pressure, digestion, tearing, uh, sweating, etc. So it's a severe disease that affects quality of life and overall lifespan. And um, it happens to be due to a mutation that's almost exclusively found in the Ashkenazi Jewish population. And uh, that mutation affects a process called messenger RNA splicing, which is relevant to uh, virtually all the genes. But this particular gene doesn't function well because of that mutation that affects splicing. And, and so that's a process that we have been working on for many years. And we use a strategy to correct effective splicing. Uh, and we previously used this strategy to develop uh, a drug called Spinraza for uh, spinal muscular atrophy, a different uh, neurological disorder uh, that proved to be very effective. And it corrects an error in splicing for a gene that's defective in that particular disease. And we're, we now apply the same strategy to restore correct splicing of the IKB-CAP gene in the context of, uh, of this disease, familial dysautonomia. So our hope is that the molecule that uh, we described in this recent publication um, will eventually develop into a therapy for familial dysautonomia. At, the, at, the, at present time, there isn't any approved therapy for this disease.